In an increasingly challenging business environment, airspace users constantly have to seek to minimize their costs. When faced with congestion, one way for airlines to reduce the cost of delays is to reorganize their flights. This is possible because each flight has an individual cost profile linked to operational considerations such as passenger flows, fleet rotations, maintenance schedules or crew constraints. This means that flights are ranked according to an individual priority level. All the same, airspace users have limited room for manoeuvre in reducing the cost of delays. The idea now is to integrate the airport constraints and also the network constraints all together to find a global solution for not spot at, uh, at the airport of in route. The CESAR User Driven Prioritization Process, or UDPP, gives airspace users the flexibility they need. Based on a collaborative decision making process, UDPP allows flight planners and dispatchers to optimize their schedules by managing delays during departure, en route and arrival. UDPP's rules are based on equity. This means that an airline can rearrange flying times only for its own fleet. The UDPP project is led by Eurocontrol in partnership with Alpha, Hop, Swiss, Austrian Airlines, El Al, Turkish Airlines, British Airways, Air France KLM and IATA with the support of the airport's expertise. Unfortunately, CDG Airport is running low on de-icing liquid. The departure capacity is reduced by 70%. Think about protecting your, your single rotations, uh, perhaps suspend multiple rotations with, with low load factors. Between 2015 and 2016, Nine airspace users took part in a series of UDPP validation exercises. This is uh, the first exercise on UDPP with uh, the platform. The concept of FDA and SFP, it's the first time we see them really in action and they seem to feel the expectation of the airspace users. We have created a flight operation center view for the airspace user so they can see the, the different rotations of their flight through the day. These exercises focused on two aspects of UDPP, fleet delay apportionment, FDA, and selective flight protection, SFP. FDA lets airspace users decide how delays should be absorbed by their affected flights. The system apportions those delays according to the priorities of the airline. With SFP, airspace users can prioritise their most important flights and allow less important flights to fly later. The trials dealt with the airport departure and arrival use cases. They evaluated the UDPP algorithms, measured equity as regards the flights of other airlines, and looked at cost effectiveness. An adapted version of the Airport Operations Center platform, APOC, was used for the first time to test the concept. A Sabre prototype was also used to estimate the cost of delay per flight. flight number and your OI bar at the top. This campaign demonstrated that UDPP optimises the planning phase by reducing the impact of air traffic management constraints on airline operations. The UDPP tool allows us to optimise ourselves to the benefit of the passengers. Basically a very good tool which will be very useful and helpful, especially at the end of this uh, initial development stage. The tool is nice, the FGA and the SFP, and uh, the prototype works. So we can make the best of the situation at a time for what we want, and at the same time that should have a positive aspect towards the overall network. 
because all of the customers are happy. I think there's definite value for the airline to be able to prioritise delays and save delays on some services and to ensure that we operate a full schedule. And the UDPP tool will definitely be a tool to optimise our operations as an airspace user. Despite their limited scope, these trials highlighted the following benefits. Globally, airspace users could reduce costs of a hotspot by a range of 5 to 15 percent, depending on their operations. Even though the total amount of delay remains the same, SFP improves punctuality for the most important flights. UDPP does not increase the total delay of a hotspot. During the planning phase, runway throughput is not affected. A business case produced by CESAR for enhanced ATFM slot swapping demonstrated that UDPP has the potential to save hundreds of millions of euros over the next 20 years. After these successful trials, UDPP will further evolve in CESAR 2020. A series of exercises will address collaborative decision-making and involve a wider range of actors, such as air traffic control and airport flow managers. From 2021, shadow mode trials will be organised to pave the way for the industrialisation and deployment of UDPP.